person has died and at least 71 others were injured on a board on a Singapore airline plane that encountered severe turbulence on a flight from London to Singapore. The Boeing 777-300ER plane diverted to Bangkok, according to a post on a Singapore Airline Facebook page. It said 211 passengers and 18 crew were on board. The company said initially in a post that 30 passengers had been hurt in a mid-air disruption and were being treated in hospitals, while other travelers were receiving outpatient care at the airport. The one person who had died, a 73 years old British man, identified as Jeff Kitchen. Preliminary investigations indicate that the deceased suffered from a heart condition. The general manager of Bangkok Suvarna Bhumi International Airport, Kitty Pong, Kitty Cochran, said Tuesday, adding that the autopsy process was still ongoing. Kitchen's death was confirmed by the Thorn Beauty Musical Theatre Group, TMTG, an establishment where he worked over 35 years in a Facebook post that described him as always a gentleman with the utmost honesty and integrity and who always did what was right for the group. The British Foreign Office told BBN it was supporting the family of a British passenger who died on a Singapore airline flight. The flight landed in the Thai capital at 3.45 p.m. local time, 4.45 a.m. ET Tuesday. Cathy Crum, who inspected the aircraft, told BBN he was informed of the emergency landing 10 minutes before it touched down. He also said that several passengers had sustained broken arms but that the majority of injuries were cuts and bruises. Some injured passengers were sent to the nearby Simitevich Selina Karen Hospital, Katie Crum said, adding that the almost 200 travelers were waiting to take onward flights to their destinations. The hospital said in an update that the at least 71 people had been injured, including citizens from Malaysia, the United Kingdom, Kingdom New Zealand, Spain, the United States and Ireland. It also said six people were severely injured. Earlier, Kitty Cron had said seven people were critically injured. The aviation tracking site uh, Flight Radar 24 says, based on its data, that the turbulence on Singapore Airline Flight SQ321 occurred over Maymer at approximately 7.49 a.m. UTC 3.49 a.m. ET. This lined up with a statement from airline stating that the plane encountered sudden extreme turbulence over the Iravadi Basin, a river in Maymur, at 37,000 feet, about 10 hours after departure. Flight Radar 24 said in a blog post that, according to its data, at that time the flight encountered a rapid change in vertical rate, consistent with the sudden turbulence event. The data showed the flight changing course about 14 minutes later. The airline says the pilot declared a medical emergency and diverted the aircraft to Bangkok. The flight radar data showed the flight, which was cruising at 37,000 feet, suddenly dipping, then rapidly climbing a few hundred feet before dipping and climbing again, and then finally settling back at its cruising altitude. The entire disruption took 90 seconds, about 90 seconds, according to the data, but resulted in dozens of injuries, including a fatality. The flight likely encountered rapidly developing thunderstorms over South Maymer on Tuesday during the time that extreme turbulence was reported. According to BBN Weather Analysis, the analysis of the satellite data shows an area of developing thunderstorms over the Iravadi Delta between 7 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. GMT early afternoon local time. This corresponds to the same time and local reported by the airline and independent data analysis of the flight track from Flight Radar 24. Tropical thunderstorms like these are typical for this time of year with moisture increasing in the region as the southwest monsoon season is beginning in South Asia. They can form quickly in the early afternoon as the land heat up, especially near the coastline. Budding thunderstorms like Tuesday may not appear on radar in their earlier stages. Even through the quick rising motion within them can still produce turbulence. The storm cells likely grew from 20,000 to 30,000 feet to well over 50,000 feet in less than an hour. Singapore President Thurman Shanmogratnam issued a statement on his social media account expressing condolence to the family and loved ones of the deceased. 
we do not have the detail of these affected of those affected but now that the government ministries and agencies as well as sia are doing their utmost to support all those affected and working with the authorities in bangkok where the plane had been diverted to shen mugratham said Singapore's Minister for Transport Chi Hong Tat said he was deeply saddened to learn about the incident in a statement posted to his social media account. Ministry of Transport Singapore, Singapore Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Civil Aviation Authority of Singapore and Changi Airport officials as well as SIA Singapore Airlines staff are provided support to the affected passengers and their families he said. Singapore Ministry of Transport said in a statement that it was investigating the situation involving SQ321 and its Transport Safety Investigation Bureau was in touch with their Thai counterparts. Turbulence occur when a plane flies through clashing bodies of air moving at widely different speed. With light and moderate turbulence, passengers might feel a strain against their seat belt and unsecured items could move around the cabin. But in severe cases, turbulence can throw passengers around the cabin, causing severe injuries and occasionally death. In March 2023, violent movements on the private jet resulted in the death of a former White House official through an investigation later found that weather was not involved in that incident. That incident came just days after seven people were transported to hospital after a separate commercial flight hit significant turbulence. In July 2023, seven people were injured on Hovan Airlines flight to Sydney, Australia when the plane was buffeted by severe turbulence, and 36 people were injured on a Hovan Airlines flight from Arizona to Honolulu in December 2022, with 20 people taken to emergency rooms. A September 2022 study predicts that clear air turbulence will increase significantly around the global by the period 2050 and 2080. In particular, along the busiest flight routes and the strongest type of turbulence will increase the most. Singapore Airlines is often considered one of the world's safest carriers. Its only previous fatal incident was in October 2000 when flights SQ006 crashed when the Boeing 747-400 took off from a closed runway in Taiwan aimed heavy rain, killing 83 on board. Singapore Airlines said later Tuesday that a dedicated team had arrived in Bangkok to support our colleagues and the local authorities on the ground in an update of its Facebook page. The flight operator raised its deepest condolence to the family of the deceased. We deeply apologize for the traumatic experience that our passengers and crew members suffer on this flight. Boeing has said it is in touch with the Singaporean carrier and is ready to support them. The manufacturer is deferring further questions to the airline and local authorities. This story and headline have been updated with additional developments. Correction. An earlier version of the story incorrectly described a March 2023 incident involving a private jet. The National Transport Safety Board later ruled whether had not been involved in a violent movement of that plane. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe channel and click the bell icon.